Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about some so-called devastating vulnerabilities in the Windows Kerberos implementation. If you haven't heard of Kerberos, it's an authentication standard. It uses public-private key cryptography in a ticketing system to allow users to authenticate to devices and services on a network. If you use a more recent version of Windows Server, your Active Directory probably uses Kerberos to authenticate versus older Windows servers that use something called NT Landman. In any case, during the week, there's a number of stories that came out that talked about devastating flaws in the Windows Kerberos implementation. Now, these stories were based on a new blog post by a security researcher that goes into a lot of technical detail about some local vulnerabilities or weaknesses in Windows Kerberos. And by the way, it's a very accurate blog post. It covers a lot of different vulnerabilities that have been talked about before, older vulnerabilities that affected NT Landman like past the hash, but are still used today in new ways, and newer vulnerabilities like the Kerberos silver ticket or Kerberos gold ticket vulnerabilities, and how local attackers can leverage them to, to gain privilege on a local network and to help them pivot their attacks. But I'm not here to talk about the technical details of the flaws. If you haven't heard about them and you're interested in them, I recommend you read this researcher's blog post, which I'll link on my own blog. Rather, I want to cover three things about this story. First, many of the stories out there talked about these as devastating flaws against Windows Kerberos, and they kind of implied that they were new. I want to share that this is not new information. Things like the golden ticket vulnerability and some of the other Kerberos issues are weaknesses that have been talked about by other researchers. In fact, the first time I heard about them was Black Hat 2014. In fact, there's already tools like Mimikatz that can take advantage of them. So these aren't new issues at all. The second thing I want to do is give you a real idea idea of the severity of these issues. The key point is these are local vulnerabilities. For an attacker to take advantage of them, he has to have already infiltrated your network, he has to gain privileged access onto your computers in order to pull the information from memory that he needs to leverage these type of vulnerabilities. In fact, for some of the Kerberos vulnerabilities, the attacker might already have to have access to your domain controller and even pulled some administrative account information. So the bad guy already has to have significant privileged access to your network, in which case it's already game over. The final thing I want to do is make sure you're aware of these sort of local vulnerabilities, whether it's the old past the hash or these new Kerberos issues like Golden Ticket. And the reason I want to make you aware of them is Microsoft knows about these issues. In fact, they have a great page that goes into detail about the past the hash flaw and other Kerberos ticketing flaws, and they share all kinds of mitigating tips you can use to minimize the impact of these local vulnerabilities. So to summarize, if you saw these stories and were worried about devastating Kerberos vulnerabilities, do know that these are not new issues. Do know that they require significant privilege for the attacker to actually leverage them. He has to already be local and have some access to your computers. And finally, know that there's many tips out there, including on Microsoft's page, on how you can mitigate some of these Kerberos issues, whether they be golden ticket or past the hash. So while they are real issues and you should understand them, they probably are not as devastating as the first headline suggested. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.